up, peoples? This your boy, D Blaze. <laughs> Welcome to the special episode of Viper's Current, in dedication to Trayvon Martin. Now, to those that don't know who he is, he was the 17-year-old, 17-year-old young man who who was unjustly murdered by a neighborhood watchman. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think neighborhood watchman was watch was allowed to carry weapons while they're on patrol. At the top of all off, at the top of all off, the reason why he was unjustly murdered because he looked suspicious. And at the top, at the top of all off, he Trayvon Trayvon Martin was sporting, I believe he was sporting a, a red hoodie. And the only thing he had in his possession was his cell phone. A a a thing a thing of Arizona and some Skittles. Now. Correct me if I'm wrong, does, does, but does that sound suspicious? And, the, and to make matters worse, there's so many twisted turns that the media is is taking with this story. Some say Zimmerman was was just in the shooting. Some say some say and majority says Trayvon was unjustly murdered. Personally, I vote on the side on the unjustly murdered because not. Not everybody is suspicious in ro- in rocking a hoodie. I mean, but I'll get to that after this dedication. Let Let's get into this, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a proud American, proud to walk the blissful streets. Different, yes, but never a statistic. Judgment rains down on me from others, characterized by an unjust jury of these weary streets. Why claim my life? Why label me a tardy? I am an innocent soul. Never rub anybody the wrong way. I have as much right to walk these streets as anyone else. A million wrongdoers exist. Murderers, killers, rapists. Streets littered with the bones of the innocent. Yet I'm labeled as the epitome of evil? Justice isn't an option. Action screaming for peace. I'm no monster, yet my flesh was littered with the blood of, of abhorrence, untold nece- unnecessary hatred towards me. I am Trayvon Martin, a young proud man whose greatest achievement was to make my mark in this world as a product of a successful society. Yet I am the yet I am the a symbol of justice before my time. I have I have left my mark in this world throughout the throughout the violence and disdain. I am a product of justice, never a monster. Now, 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 the reason why I did this tribute is that this is that this was. This was no, this was no adult that was unjustly murdered by another. This was a this was a, this was a young boy still in high school. And he and he gets killed for what? He gets killed for what? Wear, wearing a hoodie, looking suspicious, having nothing on his possession but a cell phone, Arizona and Skittles. Come on now. Now. To everyone that knows me, I wear my hoodie. I wear my hoodie to the fullest. <laughs> and everybody that knows everybody that knows me can tell you that. And, and the only thing I, and the only thing I have on my possession is my school bag. And or my gym bag if I decide to go work out. Does that does that make me suspicious? <laughs> I don't think so. But yet but yet people don't see that logic. And that's wh- and that's why and that's why and that's why this unnecessary murder was nothing but another statistic another statistic in what I call <laughs> in what I call unjust pre un, well okay let me get my mind right on this one prejudicial prejudicial characterization <laughs> I mean to be honest I mean, to be honest, he really, he really didn't have to die for. 
he really didn't have to it really didn't have to escalate to that far but yet there are still ignorance and prejudice in this world that not that not many people that not many people want to take a stand for it because it ne- because it never happened to it never happened to them directly but it's like if it happens to one person it happens to us all and and most like and most like well, not most likely but it's a definite fact that this unjust murder of Trayvon Martin happened to us all because think about it if it was one of us I mean what what would you do if you was if you was in his shoes and so and someone came to take your life all because you look suspicious And this and this doesn't serve as a wake up call. Then I don't know what. Then I don't know what will, because, to be honest, we we really do have to take a stand. No, nope. we really do have to take a stand for anything. Never let your voice be silent. If you let your voice be silent, you give someone else that you give someone else that power to take a stand. Remember, one one voice can make a difference. But a but a million more voices speaks volumes beyond belief. And this and this is the reason why I did this tribute. Because I want I want to be part well, I don't want to be part of it. I am part of the voices that speak against that speak against this horrific crime and, I'm, and I know every I know everybody I know is taking a stand and and this well it's not well not not necessarily a movement but an epidemic see If it, if it was you would if, if it was if it was someone you know in Trayvon Martin's shoes you I don't know if words can describe it but but the feeling of it you be feeling just just as much as the people the people and relatives of him And the more and the more of this tribute is don't let prejudice rule you if you let prejudice rule you you pretty much you pretty much you're pretty much broadcasting your own weakness because you're not strong because you're not strong enough to stand on your own remember but remember what I said earlier one voice can make a difference. And I know from everyone I know, there's a whole there's a whole lot of voices waiting, waiting, and already have spoke spoke up against this horrific act of prejudice. I'm sorry, prejudice. But to be honest, people, we gotta do better. Race, racism is the biggest racism is the biggest crime ever and, and I'm gonna leave off with this one particular quote of mine hatred hatred destroys the spirit but love but love heals the heart and spirit. Give, give peace instead of instead of spilling the blood of others. For the world would be a better place. 
and I hope y'all love this little trip here. And I shall see y'all next week. Holla at y'all next week. Bang!